Thank you for joining me, everybody. Today we are doing an update on those blizzard conditions that are expected across the lower Great Lakes. There's a lot of changes that have happened over the course of the past 24 hours, but details are starting to become clear. The hardest state looks to be Michigan, so that's where we're going to be focusing most of our attention for today. Now, what we are looking at here is the Weather Prediction Center's overall winter storm impacts over the next three days. So this is today all the way through Friday. In these yellow regions, only minor impacts are expected on the roads, but there could be some impacts here in there. We're looking at moderate impacts in these orange shades and major impacts in these red shades here. Notice this is pretty much confined to western and northern lower Michigan into the UP of Michigan here. That's going to be where the snow belt regions are located. That's going to be uh, where lake effect enhancement is going to make the conditions even worse on the roads. Widespread blowing snow is going to be likely across these areas leading to blizzard conditions, especially with that lake breeze. So that's why we have major impacts anticipated across these areas in uh, the lake effect areas of Michigan. Now, here is the look at the National Weather Service current hazards page here. I don't know why it's not showing it, but we also have winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings up for western Michigan as well. But a broad swath of the Midwest, uh, all the way into Kansas and Missouri, is taking a look at winter storm warnings in these pink shaded areas. We even have some blizzard warnings up across a large portion of Iowa into Minnesota here in these red shaded regions. So we definitely got to keep an eye on this here. Most of the United States, if not all of the United States, are or at least the Midwest, I should say, is going to be impacted by this storm in some ways. Just some areas more so than others. And again, right now, most of our attention is going to be shifted to Michigan. Now, let's take a look at what's going on early tomorrow morning. The European model here is showing widespread light snow from Kansas all the way into the UP of Michigan here. We got some strengthening winds here that we can see by these black lines surrounding the snowfall here. These are called isobars. The tighter that these get together are indicating a strengthening storm system and also stronger winds. So there could be some blowing snow across parts of the Midwest. But you'll notice stuff rapidly picks up as we get into uh, tomorrow evening. At that point, we are anticipating rain on the eastern flank of the storm from southeastern Michigan into Can or not Kansas, uh, Kentucky and Tennessee here. But there's going to be a flash freeze moving in right behind that. So areas like central Michigan into eastern Indiana could already be looking at snowfall here right behind this thin layer of rain. But there's definitely some changes from what we saw yesterday. The European model is already taking the low out of the Great Lakes as we get into Friday morning here. And what that's going to do is lead to a fast-moving storm system that does not drop a lot of snowfall to parts of the lower Great Lakes. It will bring some accumulation, definitely guarantees a white Christmas for many people, uh, but it's not going to be a whole lot. And a scenario like that would still be dangerous because of the strong winds that we're going to be having. Notice here, we're going to have 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts uh, on Friday in the heart of the day here. That combined with the light to moderate snow will lead to some whiteout conditions here and there. But it's not as significant as what this model was showing yesterday in terms of snowfall. Now, as we get to Saturday morning, we are still going to have some gusty winds and some lake effect snow around for parts of Michigan and Wisconsin. But it should be pretty much wrapped up with the exception of some really cold temperatures. So let's take a look at the model here. Now, hear me out. I think that the totals are going to be higher than this. But this model here does have only about three to six inches of snowfall across a large portion of southern central Michigan here uh, into Ohio and Indiana. Three to six inches obviously isn't a lot for you guys that live here. I'm one of those people. I live in Metro Detroit. Uh, it does have six to ten inches, possibly more in some areas across parts of the lake effect regions closer to the coastline across Michigan. But really, it's not that widespread. It would definitely be more of a wind problem here than it would be a snow problem. We're looking at scattered to widespread power outages with something like this. But here's a look at the National Weather Service blend of models here, which is a little bit higher. This is several models, uh, these are several models basically blended together and thrown into a blender and then given an output for a National Weather Service forecast here. So a combination of several models together. It is showing higher totals, good 6 to 10 inches of snowfall being likely across a large portion of lower Michigan. Totals getting higher closer to the Lake Michigan coastline and of course the Lake Superior coastline as well, with also a widespread swath of 6 to 8 inches across parts of Wisconsin too. So it's a little bit higher than what the European model was showing. Why is that? Well, let's take a look. Here's the GFS model, which is in significant disagreement with the European model. By early tomorrow morning, it's still showing that flash freeze ongoing across parts of southeastern Michigan. But notice the low is situated in the southern portion of Metro Detroit. And right behind it, we are going to have some very heavy snow and strong winds. 
But again, the European model is not only more eastward with the low, it also just moves it right off into Canada. The GFS model is different. It has the low actually tracking into Oakland and Lapeer County, moving back into Salac County as we get into uh, Friday evening. And as that happens, the low is just going to continue to intensify. It wraps around southeast Michigan, and that's going to lead to a more prolonged period of heavier snowfall and strong winds on the southwest flank of the storm. Again, in conjunction with those wind gusts up to 55, possibly up to 60 miles an hour. So that is going to lead to some blizzard conditions. And according to this model here, the snowfall totals are also going to be significantly higher than what the European model was showing. Uh, in these red shades, we could be looking at over a foot of snow. A situation like this could include areas like Kalamazoo, Jackson, Lansing, into Flint, possibly into central Oakland County as well. I don't think it's going to get that far east, though. I really don't. I think if you live in Livingston County, Oakland County, and points westward, you're not going to get a foot of snow. Uh, it is possible that if the flash freeze does happen earlier than predicted and the low does stick around over southeast Michigan on Friday, there could be some pretty high totals, and that's probably what this could look like right here. Now, there's still a lot of uncertainty with the snowfall totals, obviously. So what's the National Weather Service currently thinking? Well, here's a take a look at your probability of getting over two inches of snowfall. It's pretty much a guarantee, 95% or higher across pretty much the entire state of Michigan. Here's your potential to get over four inches, and notice it's still pretty likely across southeast Michigan, pretty much the entire state of Michigan here. It's a pretty solid bet that you're going to see over four inches. The only exception might be the far southern portion of southeast Michigan into central metro Detroit. Here's your possibility of getting over six inches. Still, these blues are pretty good chances of getting over six inches of snow. This includes the northern and western flake of Metro Detroit. Definitely includes Lansing. Certainly includes western Michigan, including Grand Rapids. Here's over eight inches. Here's over 12 inches. And again, guys, even this, this is your potential to get over a foot of snowfall. The chances are pretty decent across central Michigan. It's a Grand Rapids here, especially northwest Michigan once you get closer to Traverse City, uh, Otsego County areas like that. And there is even a slight chance to get over 18 inches across parts of central and western Michigan here. That's going to be the primary area of heavy snow potential. And guys, I really think that, you know, there will be some areas that get heavy snow across parts of Michigan. Don't get me wrong, but I definitely think that the big problem here is going to be the wind. Uh, we're going to have snow coming down at a pretty high rate, but that combined with 55 to 60 mile an hour winds is going to cause that snow to whip around like crazy. There will definitely be some whiteout and blizzard conditions in there and like the watches and warnings are saying across the state as well there could be scattered to widespread power outages as well which is not a good sign right before christmas and it's not a good sign when you're waking up to negative five wind chills christmas eve morning and even christmas morning it's not the wind chills are not going to feel much above zero so this is something we definitely have to keep an eye on Check back for updates, but that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy it and want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those post notifications turned on. And also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I will talk to you guys back here next time.